Hello everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. We are continuing discussion of Java 8 new features. This is the second video of Java 8 feature series of videos. In this session, we are trying to discuss what are the different features added in Java 5 version, Java 6 version, Java 7 version and Java 8 version. Right. In previous session, we discussed why new features are coming in Java language what is the focus of Sun Microsystem up to Java 1.4 version and what is the focus of Sun Microsystem from 1.5 onwards, right. So, the main reason behind new features are adding for writing less code to perform more work, fast development for more understandability, readability and maintainability. That is the main reason re uh, features are added. Next point we discussed the focus of Sun Microsystem up to 1.4 is AP level changes and from 1.5 onwards, Sun Microsystem target is what Java language level changes, right. They want to simplify AP level code, that is why up to 1.4 focus is simplifying AP level providing reusable code. From 1.5 onwards, Sun Microsystem target is simplifying writing the code at language level, syntax levels, right. Now, in this session, let us try to understand all the list of features available. So, first let us try to list out Java 5 features and Java 6 features both let us write first like in Java 5 version there are around 13 features are there 13 main features are there ok. Yeah, first point I want to tell you from Java 5 onwards what is the target of Sun Microsystem providing improvements in language level write less code and do more work that is the main target. As part of that first feature came is static import statement. We know we have import statement, but from Java 5 onwards we have static import statement. Second feature is at the rate override annotation. Third one is covariant returns. Fourth one is auto boxing and auto unboxing. Fifth one is where are the parameter method and next sixth one is for each loop it is also called as enhanced for loop ok. It is also called enhanced for loop. Seventh feature is generics. It is also called type parameter generics are also called type parameter also called type safety feature and then next eighth feature is enum ninth feature is annotations annotations also called as metadata ok and tenth feature is c style formatting input and output displaying data in C style formatting input and output and 11th feature is scanner, scanner class API level. You know up to 9th point all these are language level changes, language level. From 10th point onwards API level changes and 12th point is most important Q type collections are added and 13th point, 13th feature is very very important java dot lang dot concurrent package concurrent package is added for performing collection operations with thread safety lot of synchronized collections are added and there is also something called fork conjoint framework is also added ok all these are comes under java dot lang concurrent package. So, these are the 13 features are given in a java 5 version ok right, but please try to observe while I am writing these 13 features, if you carefully rewind this video and listen, I have I am reading these two as one section, these two features, what is that? At the rate override annotation covariant returns as one section, auto boxing, auto unboxing, where are the parameter method as one section, for each loop and generics I am reading both together and enum annotation I am reading both together. <coughs> C style formatting and scanner I am reading together, Q type classes and Java dot lang dot concurrent package I am reading together and I am also writing like that. There is a meaning behind ok. 
So, these features are given related to some special concepts. Okay. Let me tell you, sir, how can I remember these many features, sir, if you ask me, I will give you a clue, simple, identify where is the problem. Okay. Sun microsystem identifying the problems at a different areas, that area problems they have given. Uh, at the rate override and covariant returns are giving to address the problem of method of overriding. Okay. Method of overriding. Next, auto boxing, auto unboxing, where are the parameter methods concepts are given by addressing uh, method parameters problem. Method parameters means what? Method of overloading. Parameters comes under method of overloading. Okay, method of overloading related problems to address, they are given auto boxing, auto unboxing. Yeah, maybe you are not agree with my statement. Auto boxing is given for wrapper classes uh, simplifying purpose. But why wrapper classes points are simplified for collection programming? Nothing but method overloading point of view they have simplified. Okay. Then where are the parameter method is given to simplify? Array parameter na sir you may ask. Okay. Right. So again that is also comes under what? Method overloading. So auto boxing for wrapper classes where are for array but they are indirectly enhance the concept of what? Method overloading. Right. And next for each loop and generics they have given to improve okay easy reading collections and easy storing objects in collection uh, now i would like to say it is given for collection programming enhancements purpose okay of course auto boxing also related to collection programming only but i want to highlight these two uh, next enumana annotations are a new style of classes we have different types of classes interface abstract class concrete class final class, four types of classes are there. In addition, two types of classes are coming that is enum and annotation. And next, C style of formatting, you know in C language, how can I display output using printf method with a percentage D? Uh, how to read data from the keyboard in C by using scanf, uh, that printf method scanf is given in a C style formatting scanner, this is nothing but C language point of view enhancements are came. Okay, and Q type and collection programming, I mean Java dot client concurrent, again this is related to what? Collection programming. So, if you remember these main headings, uh, these subheading concepts will come automatically. Are you following my point? So, I am giving a clue how to remember features also. So, now Java 5 features are given by keeping in the mind, uh, the problems are what? First problem is accessing static members accessing static variable and static method in another class. There is a one small problem. To address that small problem, they are given static imports. So, basically these are the points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and of course, collection programming coming again 7. If you remember these are 7 main headings, then these features you can easily remember. Okay, I hope you got clarity. Right. So, please try to write these 7 features, I mean these are 13 features under these 7 headings, subheadings uh, in your uh, white paper, in your notes by A4 size paper, so that you can easily remember. Okay. You have to buy hard, sir. No doubt in that. You have to buy hard. So, some, if in the interim, if you ask, can you tell me some of the features given in Java 5 version? If you say all these 13 features, interviewer will get shocked and directly give appointment letter, right? You remember these many features and you are really knowledgeable person, right? All right. Let us move to the next features, okay? What is the next feature? Java 6 version. Java 6 version. The target of Java 6 version is not concentration, is on, not on. Any language level enhancement, no API level enhancements. There is no much concentration in Java 6 features. Java 6 version came to solve the problems of Java 5. You know, Java 5 is a failure version. Because of these many new features, okay, now whenever we implement all these new features in our Java program, its execution becomes slow. To improve the performance, fast execution purpose, Java 6 came into picture. In Java 6, we do not find any much new features. API level, we got three important classes. Those classes we should use in the project. The first one is console. Second class is from the collection point of view, navigable set. Third one from again collection point of view, navigable map. I told you in collection videos while discussing collection videos. Set and map are both are linking classes. Whatever enhancements doing in map, the same enhancements must be do in set. Why? Set internally using map. 
so map and set both are same so that's why navigable set navigable map two things came so console is given from io operation point of view navigable set and navigable map are given from collection point of view so from java 6 new features we have to remember these three sufficient are you following my point right so now java 6 is only concentration is on performance issues to solve uh, based on these features that's why no much concentration is on java 6 now let us move to the next topic java 7 and now again it is very important java 7 features okay now java 7 features the concentration is on somewhat bug fixing in these java 5 features and some more new features are added what are the bug fix or the new features let us see the first enhancement they done in java 7 is execution flow change with respect to main method execution flow change with respect to main method you know in java up to java 6 version we can execute a class without a main method by using static block but from java 7 onwards if your class do not have main method execution will not start okay jvm software first checking in your class main method available or not if a main method available then start an execution again with old style starts with what static variable memory allocation then static variable initialization static block execution then further main method so what is the difference from java 6 to java 7 in a java 6 version first static variable static blocks are executed then jvm searching for main method but in java 7 version first searching main method available or not if we available now it started execution as in previous version variable block and then main method the searching point is change that is what execution flow change with respect to main method i will show you this point with the program in the next coming sessions now let me move to the next one second feature is from the data types literals point of view new features are came that is in java 7 version binary literal support has a given up to java 7 we have only three literals only decimal octal hexadecimal literals only support is there binary literal support is not there that is added from java 7 onwards and next also we are allowed to place underscore in number literals you know underscore is meant for separating the words in, in variables we can use in the class name variable name method name we can use underscore but seven onwards we are allowed to use underscore in number literal also okay and next fourth interesting very interesting topic switch is enhanced with string as argument previously switch allowed only int argument or int lesser argument care but from java 7 onwards switch with allowed what string argument also then very 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 important topic that is in exceptional link topic they have enhanced try with try with resource try with resource and next catch catch with multiple exceptions uh, tell me sir a catch block can catch only one exception a catch block can contain only one parameter one exception class parameter but from java 7 onwards we can create a catch block with multiple exception classes with r as a separator pipe symbol as a separator so that enhancement beautiful topic okay right uh, next anyways i will discuss every every feature appropriate real time example project example explain in the next sessions at this minute just i am giving quick overview on topics okay and next seventh feature is very important feature that is where are bug fix in overloading and overriding method where are concept given in java 5 version in java 5 version where are the parameter concept is there when we create a method with where are while executing overloaded methods if I, you if i overload methods with where are there is a small conflict is there in java 5 to java 6 that conflict is solved in java 7 in overriding also small problem is there in where are bug uh, that is also solved okay then eighth point you know auto boxing auto boxing casting is improved auto boxing casting is improved previously if you want to cast auto boxing concept first you have to cast to integer from integer you have to assign to primitive type int auto boxing concept is given to treat int value directly as integer but in java 5 and 6 version whenever you want to cast value 5 to int first you have to cast to integer then you have to take into int 
but from Java 7 this enhancement improvement point of view directly we can use the cast operator int no need to write integer ok. So, now next these are the changes added in Java 7 plus one more important point is added that is type inference type inference ok I can write uh, this is generic type inference generic type inference nothing but diamond symbol empty diamond symbol. So, previously if you want to use generics variable side object side both side you have to specify the type from Java 7 onwards generic type inference uh, means diamond symbol empty diamond symbol we can specify right side object creation side you can directly write empty diamond symbol you no need to write any special type ok. So, this is the ninth feature ok. So, these are the nine features as given in Java 7 version. So, again I am telling internally so many other features are there, but main points what you have to address in the interview room daily in the projects our coding level what are daily we are using these are the new features. Now, the question again same point how do I remember all these features again right. So, that is the first question you are getting how I remember simple look at the here I am following simple technique you know our chapters core Java chapter start from basic to up to collections right. So, every chapter I, I remember all 40 chapters what I am teaching in regular classes all chapter headings I know chapter names I remember. So, in this chapter any changes in the chapter any changes in the chapter any changes I remember chapters that is why internal modifications also I be able to remember. So, you also remember chapter names internals you can remember look at here first chapter always Java program execution flow that is what main method simple first chapter second one is what data types next chapter is data types from data types point of view two changes ok. Next chapter is what operators and control flow statements yeah switch you try catch all or comes under what control flow statements. So, control flow statements changes and then next uh, next chapter is what methods according to methods what is that where are the parameter is a parameter method related na, right parameter related where are gun last one is what generic you can easily by heart remember whatever. So, that is it ok. So, this is how I remember I hope you got the clue how I remember all these things I do not know whether I should tell you the clue or not how to remember. So, I just want to tell how I am working you also try to work simple. So, totally up to Java 7 how many features are came sir 13 features here plus uh, 3 16 plus 9. So, totally 25 features came ok got clarity here yeah? right. So, now these are the 25 features about Java 5 6 7.